Today we'll recap a 2017 horror film named Nails, directed by Dennis Bardock. A paralyzed woman desperately tries to get her family and doctors to believe that she is being terrorized by a malevolent presence in her hospital room. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a couple, Dana Milgram and her husband Steve. Dana is a track coach and fitness enthusiast. She goes for running but is struck by a hit and run driver while crossing the street. Now she wakes up in the hospital, where we learn that she has been in a coma for almost two weeks. Her body is battered, her legs are paralyzed, and she is connected to a medical ventilator through a tracheal tube. Unable to speak, she is forced to use a speech synthesis program. Her husband Steve helps her adjust to the program and assures her that he will attempt to get her back home soon. Now that night when Dana is alone in her room, wakes up after hearing some sounds. And here we get to see a glimpse of someone. She realizes that someone is in her room. And here we see an entity standing in the corner of the room. Then the door of her room closes, which makes her a little surprised. Now the next day she tells that she has been in the hospital for 18 days and she wants to go home. Just then, Nurse assistant Trevor comes there for a morning routine, where Dana tells him that someone came to her room last night. Trevor checks a closet there but no one is there. He says no patients from this wing could have wandered in. Then we see Steve with his daughter Gemma who is taking her to the hospital. The two then head into Dana's room, where Trevor tells Steve that she is hallucinating because of the painkillers, and thinks someone was watching her in her room last night. He advises her to see a psychiatrist. Steve then asks Dana about last night, to which she reveals that someone was watching her but she couldn't turn her head to see him, on which he says that it may be the sound of the ventilator. Now Gemma is exploring the hospital and she reaches her room, where she realizes that someone is there. Just then an alarm sounds due to which some things fall from Gemma, and when she lies down to pick it up, we see someone's feet there. Then the director of the hospital Elizabeth comes and takes her away from there. Then Gemma comes back to Dana's room and they both leave for home. Now that night an entity attacks Dana but the next moment there is no one there. And then she gets scared seeing a man sitting next to her. It's Dr. Ron Stengel, who tells her that she was dead for three minutes before the paramedics revived her. She tells that during that time she felt the dead people grabbing her and she felt their fingernails digging into her skin. Stengel assures her that she is safe here and nothing will happen to her. Now Dana is sleeping that night when the closet in front of her starts opening itself, and inside it is the same entity that starts walking toward her. It bends the pipe of the ventilator, due to which it starts failing and Dana starts choking, and then she faints. Now the next day she tells Steve that a man had turned off the machine and this time she saw him. She do not know who he was but had long hands and an awful face. Then we see a man set up some cameras in her room and then explain to her the control of the camera. And here Dana sees herself after the accident for the first time. Just then Steve gets a call and after talking, he tells Dana that it was Ashley's call. Then he sees Elizabeth on camera and Steve goes outside to talk to her. Elizabeth tells him that the machine was not turned off by anyone but it had failed. Steve gets very angry here and asks to take good care of her. Now Dana is getting bored that night when suddenly she hears some sound. She feels that maybe there will be a patient. So she starts trying to talk but no answer is coming from the other side. Then she searches the history of this hospital on the internet, in which she finds a group photo of some children and also the man who attacked her. This man was Eric Nilsson who committed suicide after killing several children. Now the next morning Trevor returns to Dana's room for a morning routine, where she asks him about Eric Nilsson. He says that he has never heard this name before nor does he know anything about it. He advises her that if she wants to know about Nilsson, then she should ask Dr. Stench. Dana then asks him about the next door patient, to which he reveals that there is Allie, an older lady who had a stroke. Now here Dana checks in the camera that there are scratch marks on her thigh, which she gets very scared seeing. He tries to settle her down and here we come to know that this time that entity attacked her while she was sleeping. Now the next day Dana asks Dr. Stengel about Eric Nilsson. He tells that when he first met him, he was brought as a patient in 1972. He had been in foster care and had been the victim of abuse. Most of his injuries were self-inflicted, 
So they had to keep his fingernails clipped short every day to stop him from tearing at his own flesh. He improved over time and when he became an adult, he asked for a job here. He was completely cured but had an obsession. He used to cut the nails of the child patients and save them in small envelopes instead of throwing them away. And because of this, some of the staff gave him the nickname Nails. Now Dana asks what happened to Eric then? Dr. Stengel tells that in 1984, they had unusual deaths of five girls. Suspicion fell in Eric but nothing was proved and then he hanged himself. Now here Dana fearfully asks did Eric kill himself in the cupboard of this room? But Dr. Stengel does not answer her question. Later, Gemma and Dana are talking over a video call when Dana sees that Ashley is in their house, which she doesn't like. After this, Dana hears a loud noise in the room and sees that someone was trying to open the cupboard, which scares her a lot. Then Eric's ghost emerges in the cupboard and starts walking towards him. But then Trevor comes there but he is unable to see that ghost, and he tries to calm her down. Then the next day she shows Steve the camera footage in which he does not see anything. Then Dana tells Gemma that Ellie knows about Nails and that she should go and talk to her. Now Gemma goes to Ellie and asks her about Eric. She sees that Ellie is moving her finger and then she suddenly gets up, due to which Gemma comes out in fear. Later, Trevor seals the cupboard and says that no one can come out from here, to which Dana says that it is not a human but an evil thing. She tells Trevor that she wants to go home and that he has to help her. Then Dana searches on the internet about why can she see ghosts that no one else can. Here she finds a video in which a man tells that a few weeks after his accident, he started seeing a spirit. He was dead for 2-3 minutes and that's probably why he was able to see her. And that's when the spirit is also seen in the video. Next, Trevor goes to Elizabeth and tells her that when he went to Dana's room that night he thought he had seen something. And while they were still talking there was some movement in the room. But Elizabeth ignores it and asks him to leave from there. Then that night Nails makes contact with Dana through her speech synthesis program. And tells her that she will die here and no one will free her. He also reveals that Steve and Ashley are having an affair and shows her a video on her laptop. Seeing this, she becomes very sad and only then cut marks start forming on her legs. Dana asks him what does he want from her. Nails carves an answer onto her body. I miss you. Trevor, on the other hand, is sitting in his cabin when he hears some noise. He sees a shelf moving and when he opens it he finds Eric's file in it. He sees an old record for Dana under her maiden name. Then some sound comes on his laptop and he sees that his live video is playing on it. In the video, Eric is seen coming out of the hole in the wall behind him. But when he looks back, he does not see anyone there. Then Eric starts walking towards him and attacks him. Here Steve gets very angry at Elizabeth and says that Trevor is attacking Dana. Just then Gemma and Ashley also come there and here Steve tells Dana that they found her 30-year-old file in Trevor's room. She was admitted to this hospital as a child when Eric Nielsen killed those five girls. Now Dana is quite surprised to hear this. She does not believe this and says that she was attacked by Nails, but Steve does not listen to her. On the other hand, Elizabeth calls the police to inform them about the attack. But here Nails attacks her too. Then she tells Steve that Nails had shown her that he and Ashley were together in the bedroom when suddenly the room's lights turn off. And then slowly the whole hospital lights start turning off. Steve asks Gemma to stay there and goes outside to get help. Now Dana tells Gemma that she should also leave from there but she refuses and forces Dana to come with her. Dana, who has grown stronger and has been practicing breathing on her own, has Gemma pull out the tracheal tube and put her in a wheelchair. The two then race to escape the hospital. On the other hand, Steve sits in his car in the parking lot and sees that there is Ashley sitting in the car, which had been possessed and she kills him. Gemma and Dana see that Nails is moving toward them, seeing that they get very scared and try to run away from there. They then reach Dr. Stengel, who starts taking Dana back for medical care. But Nails comes from behind and kills him. Now he starts moving toward both of them and Gemma tries to take Dana away from there. But Dana locks her out of the room. Then she herself goes to Nails, who grabs her throat, lifts her in the air, and then slams her on the walls and kills her. Now seeing all this, Dana went into shock, and when emergency workers ask who is responsible for this, she tells it was Nails who killed her mom. The final shot of the film shows Dana's hospital room with her laptop on the bed facing toward the camera. 
It slowly zooms into the laptop screen that is displaying Dana in her bed from the angle of one of her CCTV cameras. Then Nails, in living form, walks over to her bedside and clips her fingernails. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.